Happy Monday, guys. Today we're starting off with that strength work and we've been working on that deadlift for a really long time now. Um, time to put it to the test. Today we're gonna be doing a seven by one. So we're gonna be building up to a heavy single. Um, we're gonna test ourselves to see um, what our one rep max deadlift is. But again, be careful with this one, guys. You don't wanna push this one just for the weights. I want you guys to get to a one rep max that feels good. Obviously it's gonna be challenging, but I don't want you guys to be just trying to pull as much weight off the ground. Still keep that good form technique um, and maintain it for as long as you can. Um, and if it starts to break uh, where your form is going off or you're rounding your back or you're not having that much control over the movement, that's the time to stop and cut it at that point. We don't wanna go further and cause uh, a possible injuries. We wanna get to a point where we're feeling good, we're getting to a uh, one rep max that feels good that day and that we're keeping good form with. So seven sets of one, slowly build up to that. So your first set of 70, or sorry, of seven by one should be at approximately 70, 75% of your one rep max. So don't count the barbell or uh, really light weights as the first set. It's just one rep at a time. Again, if you are not comfortable with this quite yet, again, just build to something that's moderate. Moderate weight um, feels a little bit challenging, especially if you're brand new to this, just so you learn how to coordinate your core and the movement together. If you all had that experience and you've been really working on throughout the cycle on your deadlift, it's time to test it. And that's where you can kind of put it to the test here. So um, base your approach to today based on your um, experience with deadlift um, and how well you know how to coordinate your core, your uh, movement together with this deadlift um, to be able to either go to a one rep max or to kind of a moderate load to just get an idea of like where you're at. Uh, after this workout, we're gonna go for a workout that we've done before. Um, check the wad posting, there's a date there that will um, track you back to uh, when we did that workout. It's about, uh, I think, about 12 weeks ago, approximately. The uh, workout was for time, 15 minutes, 21, 15, nine of squat cleans and ring dips. So um, squat cleans are at 135, 95, and then the ring dips, just regular ring dips, guys. Uh, if you are comfortable, go strict. If you want, you can kip a little bit. Uh, and again, use the progressions you've always been using for this, or if you have this written down, track that progression, um, or sorry, Look at the progression that you use for that workout and do the same thing for this workout so they can be both comparable to one another. Um, instead of doing a different progression, then at least you can see uh, how you progress from this workout. Um, other than that guys, hope you enjoy uh, the strength in the wad today. Let's get some PRs and um, uh, post your, uh, your, your weights up on the whiteboard there. So let us know what you got. Uh, we're excited to see how far you've come with your deadlift here. See you tomorrow for the next one.